flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> one of his favorite moves right there, guys. And, and really, he does that one as well as anyone. Kev, you're right. That's like his signature move once he goes airborne. We're about one minute into the first. Gordon goes in. Off the inbound. No good. On defense, New York. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. And boy, that was a tough one to, to lose, guys. But they played well throughout that game, just unable to convert down the stretch. Yeah, I know we don't get into moral victories, but they can definitely take away some positives from it because even though they came up on the short end, there was some good stuff, too. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. The Knicks shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys, but it's not a huge drop-off, so no major concern. Payne, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Lopez with the bucket. Boy, what a slick job of passing from Jeremy Lin on that one. Here's Payne. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Suns in Phoenix. And also, give him credit for his ability to pass the basketball. He was always looking for the open man. Now here's James. Four-point game. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. I tell you what, guys, it's going to be a tough day on this defense if he's got the A game rolling tonight. Knicks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And Cantor over to help. Anderson against LeBron. Here's Lynn. Makes it off the glass. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Payne gets a wide open look, and the rebound goes to Lopez. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. Beal against Lynn. He kicks to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Lopez, no luck. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Beal's shot is good. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. For New York, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Gordon goes in. Breaks a big height bounce and goes in. Gordon's got his first points of the night. And, and when it comes to size, it's not a one-on-one -on -one matchup that favors him. Well, you wouldn't know it with that finish, I'll tell you. I mean, that took a little bit of creativity right there. Now here's Beal. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Suns in Phoenix. Out left to the wing. Payne dishes to Cantor. And Ibaka kicks to James. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Knicks? Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Aaron Aflalo, he's checked in for Anderson. And here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played. Right side, Lynn. And the rejection by LeBron. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Deflects the pass. Beal against Gordon. And Ibaka kicks to Payne. There's the feed to Beal. Just five on the clock. Here's Ibaka. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. I tell you what, you gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his leaping ability, Clark, gives him a great advantage. And, and that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. It's either a dunk or free throws every time. A follow, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Passes it to Persingas, launches it. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, and when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. 
Payne passes to Canner. Beal up top, defended by Gordon. LeBron drives in, and he dunks it down. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. In the corner, a follow with it. Here's Persingas. And the Knicks hit again from deep. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. That's good from Cantor on the assist from Beal. Beal's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. To the right side. Ibaka against Lopez. Over Ibaka, and it's Lopez again missing. The Thunder have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. No good from LeBron. The Knicks with the lead, and now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kev, Derek Fisher and I got a chance to talk for a bit. He knows one of the hardest parts on scoring against this defense has to do with their prolific shot blocker, Serge Ibaka. He told me he's one of those guys who can get in your head a little bit because he's so mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebounding and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X factor for them. Back to you. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. New York leading by four. Here's a follow. Off target at the rim. And fancy finishes like that look great, but man, it's embarrassing when you blow them. LeBron James on the wing. It's deflected. And they're running, moving it up. A follow, that's good. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. The Thunder shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. And the Thunder making a switch here. McCollum's checked in, and a switch here also for New York. Plumley's checked in. Now here's a follow. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Nice step back to get it off. And the Knicks lead by six. And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Showed nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending him. Here's Snell following the score by Oklahoma City. Dishes it to Law. Fires the three. But they recover it. Snell kicks to a follow. Tries again. Snell, no good. That's one he knows he should have drained. Got a hand on it. And now, in transition, it's a follow. Here we go. Good. Snell's got his first basket. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Now here's Payne. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. No good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Here's Snell. That's good and a nice assist from Law. And now a 10-point Knicks lead. Moving it around. Eight of their last 10 coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. They set the screen. Here's Adams. Great pass to set up the lay-in. 
Adams has got his first two points of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. A Aflalo, no good. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And LeBron throws it down. Maybe that'll ignite him. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geeked. And that's what the alley-oops guys will do for your team. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. A different look for Oklahoma City. Jefferson's checked in for Ibaka for LeBron. And it's Gary Harris in for pain. Here's Law. Nine points last game out. Aflalo dishes to Stokes. Plumley with the screen. To the left wing. Snell from outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And believe it or not, it wasn't the stars that led the charge for them in that win. It, it was about the role players. I mean, the guys who they don't usually count on for the lion's share of their points came through. Guys, simply a complete team performance and road wins where everybody contributes really can galvanize a team and bring it together. And now in transition, it's a follow. Here we go. That's tipped. Fires from deep. Harris misses. The Knicks leading by six. Snell, the pass to Law. Plumley with a screen on Harris. From 17 feet out, the shot is off. The Thunder shooting at a nice 53% rate to start the game. They are sticking to the campaign. All sorts of time.